What up, everybody? You're now tuned into my podcast, Difficult People Chronicles. I'm seriously focused, Johnny SF Johnny. Today's episode is How God is Restoring. Before I get into the meat of the episode, I wanted to give you some tips. I want to start off with some tips. Number one, try not to look awkward when God is restoring some things in your life and you see things starting to happen. Don't look frozen. <laughs> I know sometimes when God do miracles in in your life, you have a tendency to get shocked. Yeah, it's human nature, but don't look so awkward that whatever's coming your way, because of your emotions and your actions, it looks like you're rejecting it. Another thing I could say is that when situations present itself, like I always say, you know, when God sends someone, the devil is going to try to send someone too. I don't want it to be a situation where you freeze up and then you choose the wrong situation. Because when you freeze, you could either make the wrong decision or reject the right situation. And that's why you go to God in prayer. Ask him to guide you. That even if you're nervous or you're frozen or you just stuck in your emotions, that he will take over and make you choose the right situation. And then the other flip side is just don't be that person to reject what God has given you because of your past. That's why it's important to heal. Start paying attention to the small things in your life. Say thank you and know that God is restoring some things. God is doing a number of things in a lot of people's lives based off of the stories that I heard. So, And like I said in my past episodes, I I constantly say to you all that this is the restoration period. And the times for restoring is different for a number of people. Meaning the time frame. He is replacing the old with the new. Some of y'all can't hold on to your past if it's not for you. Meaning past relationships, uh, whatever's going on. You can't hold on to the old. Especially if it's not for you. God is removing some people out of your life. Satan knew that a lot of you were going to do a lot of good things in your life. And God put you on a path to do certain things. And you were supposed to meet certain people and be in certain places. And Satan knew this. So what he did was he got his minions to, and he planned, plot, and schemed to put them in your path, your life path to trip you up that's what he did so in everything God does Satan tries to replicate so for example if you are to meet someone named let's say uh, Deborah and God says Deborah is supposed to take you along a certain path so you could get to the destination doing God's assignment Satan is gonna send someone along named Deborah to trip you up And that takes me into the story that I wanted to tell you, which is a true story. I met a woman who told me a number of situations. And I asked her if I could share her situations that she was going through with y'all. So I'm going to try to sum it up as best as I can. So she told me a number of situations from her past with three different women. One woman competed against her. One woman compared herself to her and another one sabotaged her marriage Mm -hmm. and she started working on herself and when she started working on herself healing and you know doing another a number of things to better her mental state I would say and her days started getting brighter (laughs) and I listened and I noticed some things So I I was like, the other day, wait a minute. (laughs) You had three different women from your past. And those names match three different women you just met. And the three different women that she just met, one (laughs) prayed for her when she was going through hard times. Another one 
helped her physically with a case that she had. And another one helped out a lot. I said, that's God. I said, whatever narrative Satan had for your life, God changed that narrative. And he moved those people out of your life. Brought in the right people to be in position to help you to put you back on track. I said, God forced the hypocrites, the liars, the thieves out of your life and replaced them with caring, loving, praying people to help you. I said, the places where the door was closed (laughs) and you thought you couldn't get in, God gave you power. And God pulled that door open. Those same people that tried to keep you outside is now watching you sit at that table. Those same people who did you dirty are suffering mentally. I said, and I feel like they depress, self-destructing, or they cannot get you out of their mind to a point where they feel sick. One of the things, like I always say, is that people who do you dirty They get sick when they see you shine. Those, like I said in my podcast episode some time ago, I said those, I think it was maybe a year in last year or the year before, I said that those at the top is going to fall to the bottom. God is pulling them down because they stole someone's position, whether it be marriage or job. Whomever the enemy tried to keep you from, God is about to do a miracle. And your enemy is going to lose what they thought and what they feel should be theirs. And their spirit feels it. I feel like their spirit feels it. Because it's like they feel like whatever's in their hand is disappearing. Whatever's in reach is pulling away and when I say whatever's in reach is pulling away they could be with uh in a relationship with somebody and that person is pulling away Mm -hmm. whatever they did in the wee hours of the morning or whatever evil wishful thinking they did over somebody's life whatever they tried to take they can't hold on to it anymore Because it was never theirs to begin with. Doors will close on one side and open on another side. Pockets going to be empty. (laughs) In somebody's jeans. And bank accounts is going to be full on the other side. On one side someone will be sick. And on another side someone's health is going to be restored. On one side someone will have no peace. They going to be constantly going through it. It's going to be like a cycle. Like every time they turn around, it's going to be some drama. They not going to be able to lay their head down without something happening. And on the other side, someone will have joy, happiness, peace, and laughter. On one side, someone will lose a life. Trust and believe. People going to be losing lives. I don't care if it's jail, a casket. They in the hospital sick and then they just pass away and on another side someone is going to have a child or they're going to acquire a family because God is restoring back their life and it's because they stood they fought and they worshipped him I'm telling y'all your enemies the naysayers even haters are going to try to stand with you in your light when when things start to look dark in their life so they're going to try to do things to come back. And they hope that you forgot what they did. Because they playing a game. They playing a stupid game. The game they playing is costing them their life. God promised he would restore all your wasted years and everything. Your enemy worked hard to steal and hide. And everything that your enemy have is going to be wasted. They trying to hold it together and they trying to hold on to what they have. I'm telling you all, you don't have to say a word. 
because they are going to be embarrassed. They going to mess up big time. They going to be losing stuff every time they turn around. And it's going to be to a point where it's going to be so much they can't even think straight. And it's all because you followed your assignment. You stood when you did not want to. Like you was tired. You was drained. You was burnt out. But you still stood. You still believed in God. You kept your faith. And and when doubt started to try and creep in, you still went down in prayer. And you kept up the fight. And now God is going to show you what he has for you. Check out my episode from last week. It's called A Message. What is for you is for you. I said, let me tell y'all something. <laughs> A lot of these enemies been playing with fire for too long and they getting burnt. And it's to the point nobody can save them. And and that's another reason why I said that a lot of times when people run up and say pray for me and all this other stuff. And and this person running up to you might not even be your enemy. They might be a family. They might be a friend or whoever. And they running up to you and they saying, you know, pray for me. I'm going through X, Y, and Z. You go to God in prayer and ask God what you should pray about. Because a lot of these people out here ain't telling you everything. You know how many people I meet that come with the lies and I don't even tell them that I know they lying. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't tell them. I don't say, you know you lying or x y and z i don't say that i don't know why but i just don't but I, but it's just interesting how the stories that people come to me and tell me it's like yo why you can't just tell the truth if you if you did x y and z you messed up say you messed up i'm gonna tell y'all something it's never about me it's really not it's about you but the longer you tell that lie the longer you live that lie, God is not going to give you what is for you because you live in a lie. So when you come to me with a lie <laughs> and you want me to help you, I can't help you based off of a lie. That makes no sense. It doesn't work that way. And people really be thinking that they 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 come in front of me it's like you coming to me with a lie i'm telling you how to approach whatever situation you going through but you got to deal with god with your situation so how you think you gonna come to me with a lie and i give you <laughs> i tell you how to do things and then you go to god in prayer you really think it's gonna work that don't make no sense. None. You playing with your life. So that's it for today. For more sign up for a session, go to my website, seriouslyfocusedjohnny.com. Check me out on YouTube. Like, subscribe, click the notification. Check out my store. Uh, for suggested topics, email me. All the links is underneath. Love me more and I love you more. Later.